Hello and welcome to episode 22 of series 7 of Master League Story Mode. Transfer deadline day will be upon us in this episode. We've done some good business already, but we can do better. Could we maybe bring in Jack Wilshire? <sighs> or is there another attacking midfielder on the horizons for us? We're very, very close to having a team that could absolutely push for eighth. Let's go and finish it off. Come on. Go and remind ourselves of where we are in terms of negotiations. We've got Ravel Morrison lined up. Um, if things go really badly in our team, we've got bids in for Seager. I think the big question, isn't it, after the last episode, is what could we be doing with this 14 million bid from Leipzig for uh, Mousse? It's a lot of money, isn't it? We do like him, but Armstrong already probably a better centre forward. Uh, so Mousse out potentially, but then we'd need to find a replacement centre forward. Can, I, can, I, can we... Can we can, 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 just, just wait, just wait a second. Just wait before we, before we go any further. <laughs> Let's remind ourselves. <laughs> before we get too excited. Let's remind ourselves. Of how BB King and, well, of how Musa is doing so far in the Premier League this season. He is having a lovely old time. Nine goals from him. We've got no questions about whether he's providing the amount of goals that we need. I think... Attacking midfield is the option, but I don't think we need to... Oh, it's a lot of money, isn't it? All right, okay. There's arguments for and against. Let's have a look at Z this this guy. He's probably going to be too highly rated, isn't he? Zane. Oh, he's there. 75 rated. Free agent attacking midfielder. It's actually pretty good, to be fair. Um, What was the link? <laughs> he's all right, actually, isn't he? Quick, good finisher, passing's lacking. He is good, actually. Where, what was the link? Come on, what was the link? It was, it was an Alexander Hleb link with Arsenal. We go six degrees of Sherwood from Hunter. Hunter has played for Arsenal. Hleb, you know, you can imagine Hunter through his connections at Arsenal will be able to get on the phone with uh, Alexander Hleb. Say you're one of my favorite players as a youngster. Have you got any good connections? He's Kazakhstani as well. I did want an Asian player. I do like him. Alexander Hleb played for Barte FC under manager Goncharenko. Okay, I feel like that's five and a half degrees. This final half a degree <laughs> better be good. Goncharenko signed him for Siska Moscow. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. It's a, free, it's a free transfer as well. It's a very good, very good bit of scouting there. And I like the um, the effort put in to finding a link as well. So with that in mind, and he can play every... Is he real? Is this guy real? Is this actually... Is this guy real? I mean, I love the idea of having a Kazakh player in the side. Yeah, interesting. He's pretty big. Hang at Siska. Let's check his uh, Instagram out. Like it. Yeah, there he is. Definitely a real man. Uh, I think you've twisted my arm there, Ruan. I like it. I like it. Let's do it. Let's put a bid in. Adaptable. But he can play everywhere. And uh, it'd be great to bring him in. So we're just looking at salary here. I mean, we've got so much salary, we can we can offer him the world. I mean, coming from Cisco is probably getting paid a fair bit there. But I love that. Okay, good stuff. That's going to put the shits up Ilya's chair, isn't it? That is some competition. He can finish. He can head. He's more than five foot tall. Can play at left back as well. We've got hundreds of left backs. Is he left footed? He's left footed. Love that. All right. Well, it looks like we might have signed that attacking midfielder that we were looking for. Let's play some football, shall we? Before my hands get so sweaty, I can't hold the controller. Let's get into the first game of the episode. Uh, the last game that we won was against Bournemouth, then we lost badly to Chelsea. We've now conceded, I think, 10 goals to Chelsea this season. That's tough. And then a disappointing loss to Brighton in the last one. So thanks for all the passion tokens, everyone. Get them in the chat. So Armstrong can play there. We'll definitely play Armstrong out on the left. Who plays on the right then? I guess it's Tyler Roberts back in. Mousse can play there, but he's not very good. It's good that Armstrong can play on either wing equally as well. I'm happy with that. So 
Tyler Roberts back in. We've still got the problem of having inverted wingers. Let's take a look at the home side. A Watford side that we always come up against and say, wow, powerful midfield, five at the back, this is going to be difficult. And we quite often get a win. I'm a little bit concerned. I don't know whether this has been getting worse. Has Woodman's neck been slowly decreasing with time, or has it always been that non-existent? It really is. Squat. Right, let's do it. Right then. Well, we're well into January now, aren't we? And the weather is chilly. And Leatherhead's form has been equally cold. But here at Watford, we're coming up against a side that we've had good performances against in the past. I feel like we can, uh, we can find our form again here. Let's get into it. First touch for Passetto here. He does well to find Chalaber inside. Mr. Cook keeping him honest there with some good pressure. Sierra Alta wide. Will Seeger's been pulled out of position. Gets a good challenge in. Armstrong, that's nice. That's risky. That's risky, Adam. That's bad, Adam. Bloody hell. All right. Take a breath. Come on. Let's control the game now. Clever. Looking for the pace of Armstrong now. He can put one in with the left. Mousse's there. First proper save of the game. It spotted Adam Armstrong in space here. Lovely bit of distribution there from Sheriff Woody. Now Armstrong will bring it inside. Strong running from him. Gets the shot away. <laughs> Another save is forced. It's going to go all the way. Oh, it's not going to go out for a corner. It's well kept in. It's like game this. It's a good game. Oh, no. That's a really good header into Sierra Alta. Allison miles away here. He's got Pacetto and Gray to look for in the box. But Allison. <laughs> Really good work from him. He's already made about four or five challenges in this game. Well, we could have had goals. We should have had goals. Four shots on target. More possession. Let's just keep it going here. Labrezi. Out to Bainesy. BB King now. First touch from him. We'll release Leighton Baines. Chance to look up. Balogun's there. Oh, too close to the keeper. In his chair edge of the box. We'll cut. No, that was it. That was the chance. That was the chance there, ladies and gentlemen. That had to be on target. Ilias chair with the Kazakhstani attacking midfielder about to join the club. Well, more than likely, that's as good a chance as you're going to get in this game. Maybe it's the pressure now. He's done so well for so long, knowing he's basically undroppable, being, as there are no other attacking midfielders in the side. Seagull as well to battle for that, but now great. Oh, Dini dropping deep to cause trouble. Oh, Chalaba does really well. This has got goal written. What a header that was from whoever that was. Now Leighton Baines. No, Leighton. No, 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 no. Real pressure here from Watford. Oh, so close to the end here. Can Seager win a final header against Troy Deeney? He can't. And now he's out of position. That's a really good ball. Oh, no. Oh, ho, 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 ho. and Troy Deeney sinks to his knees. Woodman didn't quite make the right decision there. Or he did, but maybe just a fraction too late. Probably the best chance of the game. Maybe for both sides there. Troy Deeney. Difficult opportunity, but he puts it wide. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Well, just seconds left here. Let's get it into Baines. Oh, gutted. Well, I suppose when we look at the end of that game, we'll say that's a good point considering they had a big, big chance to win it. But we had a lot of chances early on. Big one for Mousse there off the post. Unlucky. Unlucky. Uh, Hester Cook struggled a bit today. He did. Calabresi wasn't great either. It's all right. We keep going. We've still got winnable games to come. And potentially new players. Exciting new players. So we stay 11th. Eighth spot. Just starting to drift away now. Four points the gap between us and Spurs. Um, the top eight looking as you'd expect, really. Leeds United having a tough season. But we're right up there, aren't we? We're up there with the Wolves, the Brightons, the Evertons of this world. who started incredibly well in the Premier League. Hunter has brought them in, played the good football that got us here. And we look to, at the very least of... Well, we've gone a long way to cementing our place in the Premier League. Uh, so, Zainutdinov. The Kazakhstani attacking midfield maestro. Is going to be... Our next signing, a big salary, to be fair, 585,000 salary, will put him as our third highest paid player by a fair bit as well. But it is a free transfer. Ran down his uh, ran down his contract at Suska Moscow. 
but he's good, isn't he? 24 years old, quick, strong, physical contact and balance, both above 73, I like that. Uh, type possession, all looking good, he can finish. He's good on the ball, super sub as well, could be interesting, he's got long ranger, I love it. We're signing him, Kazakhstani. That's our first Kazakhstan signing in the uh, history of Master League Story Mode, and I'm very, very proud to welcome him to the club. That's going to do something uh, something big for our uh, Asian market appeal. Always essential to bring in the cash. Angry Phil Collins cannot be angry at that, surely. What a signing. What a lovely little signing. So here we are with our new signing. All the way from the slums of Kazakhstan. Not slums, sorry, that's harsh. All the way from the back streets of Kazakhstan. I mean, I'm making huge assumptions about Kazakhstan. I know nothing. I know nothing. Maybe I've seen a documentary about it. But yeah, highly rated young player. It's rare to find uh, to find a free transfer of that sort of quality. 24 years old, so he's fairly mature. Incredible utility player. They do call him the Kazakhstani James Milner on the continent. And uh, coming from Russia, didn't quite fit in there, but thought, yeah, for me, Leatherhead. That's the place. Sorry, that was, I didn't mean the, the slums of Kazakhstan. I didn't mean Kazakhstan's a slum. I meant, you know, I just imagine, you know, that he battled his way up from the slum. I don't know why I thought that. I, I retract that statement very, very quickly. Let's, uh, let's edit that bit out. We just, just mark that. Just take that away. Is Borat Kazakhstan? I haven't actually seen Borat. Um, so I'm not going to make any, any more comments there. Is it hot in here? Is it, it actually is hot in here. So there we are, newcomer at the club, Ilias Chair. Quaking. <laughs> Poor Ilias. So where does he fit in? Potentially everywhere, anywhere. Team today, Seager is going to drop out. Salty Clark in. I mean, we could. Who can play right back again? Of course he can. <laughs> the new lad can come in. He's actually a better right back than Hunter. Because I was thinking we could play Calabresi at centre back. Because uh, he's certainly more dependable. That's a bit too maverick though, I think. We'll, we'll stick with Salty Club. No, he's made so many mistakes. No, actually, I can't play him. I can't, in all good conscience, bring him in. So we're going to start our new attacking midfielder at right back. 69 rated, 75 aggression, 68 ball winning. He can actually play anywhere. And um, I feel like there's there's some good chance to be had with him. Maybe the name makes it tricky, but other than that, everyone looking good. Hester Cook is in massive need of a good performance today, as is Ilias Chair for obvious reasons. Calabresi, love to see his beautiful Italian smile. Partnering a arguably our strongest centre back partnership, but he's sort of needed at right back. Do we need an attacking right back? Possibly. Possibly. Uh, Musse missed a couple of big chances. The pressure's on him now with a big bid in for him. Quick look at the away side. Steve Bruce's Newcastle. 4-4-2. Uh, Solid. It's a good team. Lowest rated player is Fernando, 74 rated centre back. It's a good team. Very good team. Yeah, it's going to be a test. It's going to be a test. They've had a tricky season so far. But this is a good side. But... We are at home. Let's get into it. Well, we appear to be in some sort of nuclear winter at the moment. The last four games have been played under snow and things haven't gone well for Leatherhead. Being a team of southern fairies down on the south coast-ish. No, not quite the south coast. Down in the south. We don't play well in the snow. In contrast, well, Zenitinov will know all about snow. Kazakhstan, again... I'm really, really grasping here at straws, but I'm, I'm fairly certain have cold winters. Cold winters at least. Probably warm, so who knows? I'm going to have to do some serious research. If Hester Cook puts his foot on it, looks to regain a bit of composure here as the fans aren't too pleased with that start. But now the new right back slash attacking midfielder will bring it forward into Musse. Holds it up well. Armstrong on the overlap here. We get our first chance of the game. Looking for BB King. <laughs> it's Blackburn into Blackburn there. First chance of the game for Leatherhead. It's unlucky. Oh, Allison. No, that was not the ball we were looking for. Oh, fucked it. No way he's missing that. Christ. That was awful. Allison taking his time there. Calabresi way out of position. What a finish. You can't give him chances like that. Leatherhead in absolute mud at the moment. 
Newcastle have played a physical game with us today. That's a lovely ball down the line. Into the new signing. Ooh, he's fouled there in the box and it's going to be a penalty. Oh, well, what a start for the Kazakhstani James Milner. Taken down in the box there. That is going to be a rare penalty here for Leatherhead. You don't see them very often. Welcome to the Premier League there. Oh, he's got one in the face. He's got one in the face. How dare you? How dare you? Uh, do we even have a penalty taker? <laughs> do we? This is how many penalties we've had so far. <laughs> you even get to see that. Uh, who is our penalty taker? Yeah, it's definitely Armstrong, isn't it? Um, bottom right. Oh, we've never hit him hard enough. Armstrong. Yeah, sends the keeper the wrong way. There we go. <laughs> and we're back in this one. And Adam Armstrong gets off the mark for Leatherhead in the Premier League. And that will be half-time here at the Michael Caine Arena. Not a classic performance by any stretch. I think we maybe do need to make some tactical changes. Early in the second half, we don't get our goal. But we're gifted a penalty there. Been gifted a way back into this. Come on. Yes, Chester. Need a good game from you today, mate. Yeah, on the overlap now. Hester Cook. Have time to look up and measure a ball in towards Lee's Mousset. And it's over the bar there, unlucky. Oh no. Oh dear, this feels bad. That's a great ball into Joe Linton. Oh, well, 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 that was, that was close, wasn't it? That was close. Luckily, Joe Linton was the recipient of that ball. De Silva, love that distribution. Esther Cook can find the overlap here with Calabresi. Armstrong. Ball into Elias Chair, into the box. Oh, what a goal that is! And Leatherhead absolutely desperate to find the back of the net in this game. Desperate for the three points. And it is the chairman. <laughs> Needed to step up for the sake of his career, for the sake of his future at Leatherhead. With the new signing coming in, looking decent on his debut. We massively needed that. Oh, sit down, oh, sit down, oh, sit down. Still need to work on the ending of that. But what a well-worked goal here. Armstrong, great hold-up play. Got the shout from Ilias Chair. Really good awareness. Just rolls a little back hill through. And on his left peg here, the chairman pulls off some quality. He missed a big, big chance. I think it was in the last game. Under pressure as well. Finished beautifully there. Just one minute left here at the Michael Caine Arena. Can we hang on? Toast in one more header, please, mate. Silver in the midfield, can't win it back. Longstaff on the turn, Chester's out, there we are. A huge win, a huge win for Hunter's Leatherhead. We really, really needed that. We've stemmed the bleeding of a really difficult run of games. It's a penalty goal from Armstrong, and then a very, very good goal from Ilias Chair with an Armstrong assist as well. One of the best assists of the season. Very, very pleased with that. Very pleased indeed. And uh, we deserved it. 58% possession, more shots, quality. Quality at 7.5 for the new signing. Good debut for Zeynut Dinov at right back. The Kazakhstani, um, <laughs> the Kazakhstani James Milner was quality. Love that. <laughs> the Brazilian Blanca. <laughs> so good, so good, mate. Really, that's talent. That's real talent. Loving it. In the pot noodle shirt as well. That's the... Uh, it's the thumbnail sorted. But yeah, good performances all round. A silver at left back. Could argue that we should give Baines a run out there. Let's see how that sees us in the league. Oh, we climb up to ninth. Big, big, big win there. And now eighth place West Ham, well within sight. It looks like seventh is the highest we're ever really going to finish. Is that a European spot? I suppose it depends on how things go elsewhere. But, you know, it's a good goal to have. Right. Let's finish on a high note here with an away win to make it three, no, make it two wins in a row for the first time in a long time. Let's take a look at the side today. Ooh, tiredness all around here. Wholesale changes are going to be needed. Um, well, I think it's a start for uh, Bako. This is going to absolutely ruin our team spirit. Uh, BB King out. Roberts in down the left. Yeah, I'm all right with that. 
Silver into midfield. Oh, Misha Jamiley to start with Baines on poor form. Yeah. Darabio out. Allison DMF, drink water. Allison centre back, drink water into midfield. Absolutely ruining our team spirit there. That's crazy. 79 is pretty low. Some tricky form going on here. Hester Cook doesn't need the rest. Uh, could start Hunter. Bring kind of Brazy in there. Darabio does need a rest. Okay, interesting. First start for Bako. Zanutdinov, the Kazakhstani. Great offensive awareness as well. He's a very, very good player. Got the long ranger as well, one touch pass. It's a very, very different look to this Leatherhead side. Let's take a look at the home side here. Dean Smith, Villa, Watkins, no Grealish. He's gone to Arsenal. A man with the thinnest head in the world out on the right. Traore is always a, always a tricky one down that left-hand side. Uh, McGinn, quality. Love John McGinn. Would love to sign him. Uh, strong back line as well. Ming's playing at left back. Nyland in goal. Come on then. Let's finish strongly here. Oh, and look at this. Dramatic skies here. So we take a trip to Birmingham. Villa Park looking lovely. Leatherhead off the back of a tight win, but a good win in the last one. Had to battle hard for that. There's a big, big Villa side. They all look to be towering over us. Yeah, this could be a tri tricky one here. Mousse needs a goal. He's been out of the uh, goals for a while. Big opportunity here for the new signing. Come on then, Green Army. Turns away now, Mousse. Ooh, go on. You've got it. Squares it now for... Oh, <laughs> Zanuttin off so close there to a tap in. Tyler Roberts. Ooh. Oh, he's offside. Unlucky. <laughs> Almost a big, big chance there for the new signing. To open his account. Not a lot in that as well. Surely would have put that away. Jamali now into the new signing. Moussa, lovely ball into Armstrong. What a first touch from him. Looks to chip the keeper. Nyland just tried to sneak off his line there just to tempt him into an early chip and he read it really well. Silver now. Floats one in looking for Armstrong at the far post. Wow. <laughs> that got some drift to it. That was an incredible fade. <laughs> Very nearly tested in there. Hunter, nice touch. Silver. Zanatinov. Josh De Silva. Ooh, a touch that only a mother could love there. That was nasty. Yes. Ali. Mousse, touch, finish. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Massive goal there just before the half. No less than Leatherhead deserved. They've been excellent so far today. And Mousse silences the critics, the doubters. What a finish that was. Uh, De Silva's looked lively in the midfield. There's been a lot of talk about him coming in, but it's Allison as ever. Blanca charges up, wins it back. Good ball, lovely first touch. And that is a finish. Moose T, the sex bomb, the stash. Finish as well. The Frenchman continues his assault on the Premier League. What a goal that is. Hunter into Adam Armstrong here. Half time nearly upon us. Good ball looking for Roberts. Lovely first touch from him. Scoops it in, looking for Moussa. Oh, it's almost really nice. Armstrong could have a go here. John McGinn gets an important foot in there. And that will be half-time here in the Midlands. Really, really good showing here from Leatherhead. Got to be proud of that first 45. Dominating possession away from home. More of the same, please, I think Hunter will be saying as he tries to catch his breath desperately on the side of the pitch. <laughs> Probably picking up a spare lung if he can find one. Armstrong, good ball into the silver and a lovely touch from him as well. Billionette Denov. Whoa! I keep forgetting he's left footed. Got to remember that. That was a stroke of luck, really, that he hit across that so nicely. What a goal that would have been. Took that beautifully. Triple can't get to that. Calabrese's gambled there. And it's not paid off. Traore will get there. Calabrese. No! <sighs> Doing opportunity there for Villa. With second left on the clock. We've scrapped this one out. But it's a successful trip to the Midlands for Leatherhead. Another win, a really important one. Moose T gets the goal that separates the sides today. Allison, though, will likely win the man of the match performance. Another big performance from him. Good performance for the Kazakhstani James Milner. <laughs> Christ. Um, he looked dangerous. Early doors, he looked like he um, could have got, got his first goal. 
A well-saved shot as well. Ilias Cher will be watching on. Thinking, yeah, need to keep my performances up. But good work from Hunter. I mean, that's one of our best performances of the season, really. Not a single shot on target. Only 38% possession at home. And look at those performances. Really good stuff. Allison with a 7.5 in midfield is, uh, wow, impressive. Oh, he got the assist. Okay, fair enough. And the pursuit of eighth continues with West Ham now and Spurs, the nearest behind us or ahead of us. Yeah, I'm too hot and tired now. So there we go. Great new signing. Really, really pleased with that. Stretching the six degrees of Sherwood to the limit, but he looks tasty. Bit of competition for Elias Chair. Two big wins there and we'll keep cracking on in the next episode. Join me in the live stream on Friday. It's always a party. It's a good time. If not, like and subscribe. I'll see you in a bit.